All right. I guess we're about to do this. Got the bags all packed up. Going to Argentina. I couldn't believe this was really happening. Study abroad has always been, in many ways, a dream. I mean, you see and you hear all these stories about other people doing it, but when you look at that price tag, you just think, man, there is no way. One of my favorite hip-hop artists, Lupe Fiasco, said in an interview once that he gets his inspiration from reading and traveling. Growing up in the Bayview Hunters Point District of San Francisco in the shadow of tremendous wealth, Sometimes it was hard to see beyond the immediacy of everyday life, living paycheck to paycheck to the world that's out there. But after a lot of grinding and help from the good people at the Benjamin A. Gilman International Scholarship Program, UC Davis, and of course, Mom, Clara, I got to embark on the experience of a lifetime. Started from the bottom. <laughs> now we're going up there. Started from the bottom and we're almost here. <laughs> yeah. To the top right now. Uh, started from the bottom. Started from the bottom. Started from the bottom. Oh, yeah, see? It's crazy. Now we're here. No, I have no idea what the stickers for. What? I have no I, idea. I figured what it out. What is it for? There's a room down on the very bottom floor where you like go down it, and like there's just a bunch of stuff. Everything's painted white, and people just you take your stickers and you just put them wherever you want. Oh yeah, these stickers yeah. right here. Yeah, these, yeah. That's pretty tight, man. You just found a sticker room. I want it. friend the sticker room. I want to put one like right there. That's the only part that's white. Uh huh? That's the only part that's white. Do you think I you can know. do it? I don't know. Oh, there's a security camera. Do you think, do you think I could reach it if I jumped off the couch? I'm not supposed to like it. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. yeah. So what are you going to do? I don't know, man. <laughs> I actually did everything in here. Oh. I've been working tires. With that one pack? Yep, I did all this. I actually made these flowers. Oh, shit. Out of stickers. That's because you make those couches too? I did. Yeah. By yourself? They're handmade? Yes, they're handmade. For this oh. museum. Oh. I'm on contract. You're on contract? Is this your museum? I actually own this whole thing. Oh. Cool. There. There we go. Kind of. <laughs> A little bit. I ran out of stickers. They didn't give me enough. Very cute. Another little flower. Thing. Uh, I'm trying to support the cause. This is really dumb. I'm trying to add like a little. What I noticed was how street art is more accepted there. Like it's not tabasized. It's not like if. You might get caught, you can bribe a cop, right? But people pay people to graffiti the shit out their house, right? Like, you heard about this, like, you coming from a place... Where... No. Dude, I think we have to get it started first, and then it'll come together. You trust me, bro. Press film. Dude, you gotta relax. Dude, it's been recording for, like, two minutes, dog. I've been recording. Come on. All right, all right. So I'm saying, like, you have this, you have this, this difference in acceptance for graffiti art. We teach hip hop. We we talk about graffiti art, and like, you now have this perspective of the American style of hip hop, at least graffiti referencing, and you have the Argentine version of graffiti art. So let's 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 go there. In between both of these things, which one do you like better? I can't really choose which one I like better, but I agree it is more accepted there and it was it was crazy thinking about it like a lot of street artists when they when they paint it doesn't have to be hip hop. Hip hop isn't like the first thing on their mind. It's just A, I'm trying to beautify the neighborhood or B, I just have something to say. So sometimes you go there and you see a whole bunch of um, graffiti and and it looks like what, you know, the cops out here call graffiti. Like 
looks like vandalism. But if you actually read it, they just it's just people that have something to say. And they're desperate for a platform to say it, so they they make their voices heard in really popular locations and really like big plazas and in central locations where there's a lot of tourists. So it's almost like it's geared towards the tourists. The tourists need to know these things. You know? Nice. My name is Oveja, which is sheep in English. They call me that because of my hair. Uh, I'm a street artist from Buenos Aires. I'm also an architect, and my signature is that that one that you see there, MPC. MPC. And those pigs too, right? right there. Yeah, well, those are my my pets. My yeah. flying pigs, my pigasos. Um, so you said you've been doing it for a long time because yeah. it was part of uh, the culture that you. Grew yeah, up here with? in Buenos Aires, it's like something that is come from lots of years ago. Everybody used to paint in the streets, perhaps not drawings, nor not stencil and that kind of things, but they used to write phrases like very smart, like funny uh, phrases, like uh, sleep tight, your daughter is being cared by the police or things like that. So are they usually very political? Yeah, lots of political things. And they always, all the politicians, they paint really, really big walls with their names on it. Mm -hmm. And from, from ever, they always did that. So um, I always watched that as a child. I liked it very much, and I also liked drawing. So one day it was just like starting big. And about 15 years ago here, or, well, 15 or perhaps 10 years ago, they started to paint lots of things in the street, really big things, were very colorful. So they caught my eye and I said, hey, I can do that as well. So I've started like seven years ago. <laughs> God damn! This is week two of us trying to go to hip hop night on Thursday. But damn, look at that rain. But, woo, the police coming. They must have heard me say hip hop. You know, in the States, a hip hop club. It's basically a club that plays top 40. You know? Yeah. So that's kind of what I was expecting. I was like, you know what? I've been in these bars, I've been to these parties. The party seems kind of the same no matter where you go. I mean, little slight variations. So instead of a rum and coke, you get a Fernetti Coca. So uh, it's slight variations, but everything else is like the same. But not at the hip hop culture, right? At this club. What? I mean, when you first walk in, Nothing but b-boys, as far as the eye can see. Break dancing, oh. not stop. But oh shit, it's actually a hip hop club. <laughs> and then a rapper came out. It was a Spanish rapper. Uh, he he kind of transitioned into the ratchet club party music after his set. But the crazy thing is, because you know, that's part, that's so much part of hip hop too, is there's a party culture, right? But then for the rest of the night, it was almost like a battle between the ratchets and the b-boys. What? So like, they'll be like, for a while, it's just like all the girls are getting down, it's time to, it's time to get your Mac on, trying to holler at some, some girls or whatever. And, but then some b-boys like clear the space and then they'll start break dancing again too so it was it was really cool it was unlike any hip-hop club i've ever been to that was designed to be a, a club like a nightclub and hip-hop at the same time <laughs> What do you think is the connection between uh, the street art movement here in, in Buenos Aires and the hip hop movement, the hip hop street art movement? Well, lots of the boys that start painting, they start with letters and graffiti, and they all like they, they go for the whole pack. You know, some of them actually do uh, some rap music and everything. 
be the whole, the whole package. Uh, but other people just doesn't. They start from just the graffiti or just uh, some street art or some other mm -hmm. variation of the thing. So it has lots of points in common with the hip hop mov movement, but not exactly because that we, we have a history of people painting in streets. Actually, when you say graffiti here, it's very um, difficult because some people, they say, well, graffiti is part of a hip-hop movement that started in New York like 30 years ago and everything. But, for example, my aunt, who doesn't know anything about the history of graffiti, calls graffiti to any inscription in a wall. Perhaps someone goes and says, uh, I don't know, um, Dale Boca or something from a sports team or something like that and that is called graffiti here as well so you have like both meanings for, for the word graffiti it's not just related to hip hop culture here the word graffiti Um, the lady that lives here called Patricia said, yeah, how can I help? And I said, would you be up having your uh, house painted? And she said, I've got no money, uh, no job. So, oh, okay. Um, so we put in funds for six aerosols, and these two artists were working on another project, and they said they're up for painting the house. Their names are Malegria and Nane. Malegria is from Bogota, and Nane is from Santiago. Anyway, these guys showed up at 1.30 on a Saturday afternoon, knocked on the door, um, introduced themselves to the hey. Patricia that lives there. She lent them a ladder, um, they showed, them, showed her a sketch in their sketchbook, um, just an outline design of what they're going to do, and she said, fine, off you go. So. Hi, I'm Carolina Favale, and my nickname for the street is Cuore, which means heart in Italian. So you just finished this piece? Yes. I spent, I think, four hours doing this. Uh, this is part of a project. Uh, a friend of mine invited me to come here and paint during the whole day. Well, the whole afternoon. And now I'm leaving. I think it's right. I was this about, to, about sharing, about being there in the street, because it's not the same when you are in, in the street than in your home. I mean, you are doing it in the public, in the public space, so the, everything changed. I mean, you are there and you are showing yourself that you are in a place which is public. And that's why it's, uh, it's about sharing, because I'm just showing you what I am. Uh, everybody is there, I mean, we are all painting and we all feel what we do. So it's a kind of being sincere with the others. Do you feel like there's any challenges as a, as a woman street artist? Yes, yeah, sometimes yes. I mean, this society is bad. it's a bit sexist. So it's a bit, I don't know, we have troubles. When I'm t painting, every guy who is around always is saying something. I mean, you are, I don't know. I love you, or these kind of things, or even worse, not like this. This is sweet. <laughs> and you are there working four hours, or maybe five, and there are many men around saying the same thing, and um, bothering me, or, I don't know. It's not, I mean, it's not comfortable sometimes. I mean, but I try to not pay attention to these things, and I just focus in my work. <laughs> Do you think it's also um, more difficult to get places to paint because you're a woman, or is no, it, no, no? In that case, we are, we are. It's easier for women to get a work than for a for a man. Uh -huh. Because 
they don't think when you see that you are a woman, they don't think that you, you are going to do something wrong or something bad or some, or an image or an aggressive image. They say, "Well, this is a, a silly girl, and she's going to do something nice, so it's easier for us." Uh, but not in other ways. I mean, when there are festivals or events, there are more males than females. Uh, it's not the same for a woman to be there, or the spaces for women in general. If, you, if I want to get to a gallery or something, it's not so easy for women than for men. It's, it's different. But I'm doing it, and I have friends, and that's good. <laughs> Check it out, though. Hold up. We're over here by the La Boca, the, the terminal station for the bus. Caminito. 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 Yeah. We're about to check out the colorful houses over here in the background. You see that chivalry still exists. I'm not going to show too much of it, but it's because it's everywhere, you know. But it's pretty dope, you know. It's, you can get away from, like, the city life a little selfie. Hashtag selfie. Hashtag selfie. Okay. Yeah, you get away from the city life a little bit. Just kind of enjoy the murky waters. And, like... Just vibe out a little bit. Take a picture of yourself. Selfies. Selfies all day. Yeah. That drum circle's raw. Yeah, and it's crazy because they don't stop partying in Argentina. No. I can't keep, I can't be on that Argentine time. I call it Argentine. I can't be on that. It's uh, it's way too long. So after the bomba ends, so the party just moves outside. That's basically what happens. And then they march to the club, where we all go to the club together and dance some more. I was getting exhausted. <laughs> the Argentine, Argentine. Hey, what is that, hey, Fernet? No. <laughs> no, it's not. Wine. No, this is wine. Red wine. Oh, okay. Red wine. That's cool. This is Good, great way to spend the winter drinking wine. Yeah. Oh, red wine for, for winter too. For, for ladies, good for summer because you oh. put lots of ice on it. It's great. Um, how important do you think art is to the culture of Buenos Aires? I think, uh, well, to the culture in Buenos Aires, I don't know how how important people think it is, but for uh, for us artists, it's very important. So that's that's. Uh, also, a very interesting thing about street art, you just you are not just painting in your house or in your studio and waiting for a place to go and show your work. You just go and you get the place. Sometimes by the use of violence, because you go and you paint. Some other times, like in this case, by uh, swimming through bureaucracy. But but it's a really active thing and it's something that you want to do for the whole city and for out for the outside so i think it's like really really big for doing it outside my english is not helping me with this but i hope you understand but here in buenos aires um, there's a big tradition of of art you know with uh, actors painters musicians so it's not strange to have people uh, going out in the streets and doing art especially in the last 10 years it has been with graffiti and street art but we we have a, a really long tradition of, uh, of artists do you have any idea where all this creativity comes from i think it comes from um, you know sometimes we have very difficult political times we have Lots of times where our society has problems with uh, uh, getting the minimum stuff. So we all have to be very creative of things. You know, sometimes you don't have the money for doing, you know, I don't know, you, your car breaks down and you don't have the money to go to fix it as you should fix it. So you, you get a piece of uh, wire and you start doing something, you start inventing, creating a new way of solving one of your problems. So I think that's uh, something that all people here in Argentina has, 
So we all have a really big creativity because sometimes we don't have the means to, to do something in the correct way. So we have to invent another way. So I think that's something that is, that is in all levels of society and all levels of life. Fixing a car or making art. Thank you.